everyone welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts today I'm going to show you how to make this card so this one was seen on Pinterest so it was inspired by that um, it's quite a, an effective card so this particular one I have done using um, Distress Oxide's tumbled glass blueprint sketch and uncharted marina or mariner depending on how you want to pronounce it so that was that color with that card this particular one i'm just playing around with colors so um, i've used um, again distress oxides antique linen worn lipstick and villainous potion and then on this side playing around with other colours and it's been done in mustard seed, carved pumpkin and candied apple. So I'll show you, this is one we're going to do today using these colours because I thought they were nice and bright and very sunsetty or sunrise. That one is more like for cooler colours, like I guess if you're doing um, wintry snowy scenes. So I'll show you how I've done this one. So the base card that I'm using is um, four inches by five and a half. If you work in centimetres, it's uh, 10 centimetres by 14 centimetres. And then I've got a piece of copy paper and I've just torn it making slight hills. I don't want anything too hilly. So just making slight little hills like so. And we need both of those pieces, so we then you bring in a scrap piece. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is, I'm using Pixie Spray, very hard to get, but it's wonderful stuff if you can get it. And I'm just going to spray a bit on the edge of the paper, on that edge, and on this flat edge. And then, that'll just make it a little bit tacky and stop moving around while I'm blending. So now putting this at about a third of the way up to create the hills or the ground level. I'll just push that onto there. And then we're going to start using mustard seed. And I'm going to just very lightly just do a, a covering over the whole top part of the card with the mustard seed so it's best when you're doing this just come in with a bit of color at a time you can always add more if you put too much on there it's very hard to remove and lighten up so just a little bit at a time you can always come in to make it darker if you want it darker although it's a little bit patchy that doesn't matter that will add to the effect okay so now we're going to go to carved pumpkin so this is where the other bit of paper will come in. So lining up with the top corner, put the paper on a bit of an angle. Now it's up to you how many and how big you want your sun rays. So I'm going to do mine about there. And I'm going to come in with carved pumpkin first. Now, I'm not going to go right to the edge because I'm wanting the colour to fade a bit out to that lighter colour. So just keep going until you've got the colour depth that you want. And then I'm going to come in with candied apple just to give it another contrasting colour. So again, lightly and then sort of do it darker on the bottom half of the sun ray so I'm sort of going a bit heavier down towards the bottom and then we'll move the mask and then we'll move it to the side and we're going to repeat that process again so coming in with the carved pumpkin now as I said if you were using one of the other colors where I did, say, the blue one, where I did the yellow, I've used tumbled glass. Now, where I'm using the carved pumpkin, I used blueprint sketch. 
and where I'm using the candied apple, I used Uncharted Mar Marina. Marina. <laughs> so just play with colours. So now we'll come in with the candied apple. So try and get a fairly good blend and so it fades out. And then we move that and we continue on. So rather than doing the whole thing so i've done i've got one here so i've done this one to this last edge so when you get to the last edge just coming in with your carved pumpkin or your second color just go to the edge from the edge towards the other bit and then i'll just Finish it off with the candied apple. There we go. And that's that part done. So now I'll just pop those out of the way. And then um, using the mustard seed again, uh, let me grab my brush. Just in that top corner where all the colours meet, just very lightly do a circle sort of motion there just to try and lighten that area a bit so that it looks like that's where the light's coming from and then just brush it out a little bit to spread it out so it fades away and that just makes that a bit lighter there. Okay, so now we're going to remove the mask and we're going to do some stamping. So for this particular one, I'm using Lavinia stamps. And I'll just pop this in my stamp press. You can do this without a stamp press. I just feel more confident using a stamp press because I'm so scared of it not working out. And I'm using the uh, Tree of Courage on this one. And we'll just pop that on there. So if you like, you can use your acetate sheet to work out how it's going to look and where you want it. And we'll just pop that on there, pick it up. And for stamping, I'm using Versifying Clear Nocturne. So I'm just going to ink up the stamp. Stamp it. Just remember when you're stamping to allow time for the ink to soak into the card. Hopefully that's all right. There we go. I'll just clean that off. I always clean my stamps as I go. And then down here, just move that magnet. I'm going to put, do you know I won't put the deer, I'm going to put, I'm going to put Pippin here. So this is Pippin, we'll just pop him there under the tree, looking up at the lovely sunset. So that Pippin's not floating in the midair, we'll ground him and the tree, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you want to, you can do it in um like a, a darker colour, but I'm going to stick to the colours that we've used here. So I'm going to use the mustard seed and just covering the base of the tree. going to just very lightly blend a bit of colour under the tree and put some under Pippin. Actually we might make that into a hill so he's standing on a hill there. So I'll just pop that under his feet and just lightly blend a hill. There we go, so now he's standing on the hill. 
and I might do another bit of hill in the background here. Just very faint hill. There we go, it's very faint. Alrighty, so that's that done. And from there, um, if you wanted to, you can add glitter and oh, I'll put a little bit of ink up there. Never mind. And now I'm going to put it onto a matte card. So the matte card is just a little bit bigger than the base card. And I'll just pop that onto there. Okay, what am I using this time? I'm using Turbo Tacky Glue. It's just the one that I happened to have near me when I started. I'll just pop that onto there. And then pop it onto the base card. Oh, by the way, this particular card that I've done the blending on is a 300 GSM Smooth White. I just find the smooth cards nicer for blending. It's If you want a textured look, use a textured card. Okay, I'll just pop that on there. And just get my scrappy bit of paper back again. And I'm going to get a glue pen and some glitter and I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter around so I'll just do it on the hill lines get my glue pen running just doing it on the where the ground is only because I like glitter And this is a quickie glue pen. It's like a biro or a pen and it's just got a ballpoint on it and it works like a biro. So it's great for getting it exactly where you want it. Okay, we'll just pop some glitter on. off the excess so it's very quick and easy and um, I, personally I much prefer the blending inks using the oxides I think they give a better coverage and they nice and creamy just pop this away before I spill it and that's it done so there you go with that less than 15 minutes to do a card so i hope you've, you have enjoyed that if you have do give me the thumbs up and if you're interested i do have a couple of facebook groups um card making for beginners and beyond and barossa valley crafts and if you'd like to come and join us you're more than welcome and um, share your crafty creations it doesn't have to be from my tutorials it can be anything so thank you for joining me and See you soon. Bye.